Right, managed to take apart the cabinet, which has given me a glorious amount of space to fit the new consumer unit. So I isolate now, mark it all up, strip it all out, get the new board up, and retest it. But yeah, there it was there, three little pieces, one, two, three. That's a lot nicer now, a lot easier. Right, let's crack on. I don't know how you folks mark up your uh, your cables. I tend to do dots, one, two, three, four, and then when it comes to five, I do a line, and then I do six would be line dot, seven would line dot dot, eight, and so on. That solo at the end is gonna be straightforward, so I'm not being bothered marking that, because it's obvious what that is. But when I get to 10, it'll be two lines. I do that rather than having to have like, you know, imagine trying to have 10 dots and spending the time counting up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. So that's why I have a line at five yeah, and dots either side. So yeah, that's how I do mine. How do you do yours? Right, board stripped out, a couple of minutes, marked everything up. Uh, that's the solar, I think, that's the uh, CT clamp for the solar. So I'm gonna, here's my new board. Let me just lift that out. Here's the new board going in, there you go. Uh, 14 way, bunch of uh, type A RCBOs. I'll uh, probably do these rear knockouts at the top. Bring them all back through the rear at the top there. I got a stain at the top, I think, because of this, this cupboard here. So I'll probably do a couple of the knockouts at the back and then uh, mount the board up and work my way through the circuits again. Smashing them all in. Start with the earth first and then mount the RCBOs and live neutral, live neutral all the way along. Just in the middle of my heart. Right. Got the uh, uh, main tail. So yeah, just for a second. Got the meter tails in. Got the clamp that's probably put on for the soda back on. Uh, I've got the three, I've got the main earth thin conductor and then two protective conductors. I'm just going to heat shrink some labels on there in a minute. I've just got them in for now. And I'm just gonna work through all the CPCs. I'm gonna put them back in the same order they came out, just for slack and for the certificate, because I typed it all up already. Um, I don't buy into any of the argument where you've got to have the highest loaded circuit next to the main switch and work down. It's nice when it looks like that aesthetically, but it doesn't matter. The buzz bar's rated 100 amps, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to get all these earths in and then put the RCBOs in and then smash on. Right, CPCs are in, just a little bit of nip and tuck and glue in a minute. Flat blade crimps on the H07, I didn't have any six mil ferrule, so I've got flat blade crimps. I'm gonna pop in all the RCBOs now, get all the neutral fly leads in, 
I'm not gonna cut them, keep them in there, keep the length, smash them in there, and then run down my circuits, live neutral, live neutral, live neutral, and then we'll do uh, a load of testing. <coughs> Right, take note of the tightness, the torque settings of the RCBOs, cables greater than 1.5mm um, and smaller than 1.5mm, making sure you change the driver, which I use the Weha, I love it, it feels so solid. I used to have the Weera, but this is far superior, I love this one. Um, the only downside is you can't do like 2.1, it does 2 and 2.2, so you have to like put the setting in between 2 and 2.2 um, 2 to give you a 2.1. But it's got such a lovely solid clunk compared to the uh, Weera one. So yeah, I highly recommend this as your torque um, screwdriver. It goes up to 5 as well I think, which, uh, which is perfect for your domestic boards. I'm gonna keep as much slack as I can in a perfect world. It'd be lovely to have, make it look aesthetically pleasing, lovely, but it still look nice, but I'm gonna try and keep the slack um, just in case there's any shuffle around or new board. Not too much, like there's a, there's a fine balance. You don't want too much, you don't want too little. Um, and I find it's always trickier to make it look neat when they're coming from above, from below or behind the dimmer. It's nice, but from above, it's, you end up like either going straight down the back and then up and over or coming out the top and down. So um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like. Let's crack on and get all the others in and I'll get it all tested. on two as you can see can't quite see that two and it says in here both the neutral bar terminal bars two but greater than 1.5 mil and 1.5 for smaller than 1.5 mil so i'll run down and talk them all up but yeah that's pretty much all done now just got to test it all up Ooh, focus in just got to test it all up. I put a cleat in there just to hold the, the pressure of that on that gland there. That was done by the solar guys, dog rough, I know, but I'll just talk. I've talked uh, these up as I've gone along. I've talked these up and these up. I'm just going to do across the neutral bar, sorry, earth and neutral bar. A few more last bits of testing and then uh, we'll be out of here. One thing I was corrected on, uh, I can't remember who it was, who told me about torque drivers, not to use them in reverse, not to undo terminals um, with a torque screwdriver because it messes up the, the springs and the tension and the, you know, the calibration. So only use them to tighten. I didn't know that. So on my last rewire, someone pointed out to me. So thank you for whoever it was. And now I only use it for tightening up. I mean, I was just undoing you know the the cover and undoing you know, a few accessories but still i get the theory um i've always had mine calibrated annually uh, on calibration days with my local wholesaler and they've you know, always been all right but yeah good thing to know only use them on the on tightening up and don't use them to backseat a valve i think is what plumbers say undo the undo terminals so yeah All talked up now. I love this Nipex um, pliers. 
I've got the baby version, which are lovely, and I love that little groove in the pliers, but they've since made a bigger version, and I absolutely love this. Love this pliers. Love these pliers, I love them. So if yours breaks, I highly recommend these, or even the baby versions. They're nice, both solid um, um, pliers. And I really like the groove there for doubling over. So yeah, get yourself a pair of them. All right, just working through the testing. I'm just printing out the uh, label. Got a few, there's a couple of issues I need to make that homeowner aware of. <clears throat> I'll put this on the board in preparation. I'll go on there somewhere. And uh, we'll get that. Um, once we're done with testing, we get the lid on and be gone. We knew, what was it, got here about half nine, it's now, I think it's half. It's done. It's done. One o'clock, so almost, almost done. You also may already know this, that the tape comes in two halves on the back. That's for a reason. You peel the top half off, because if you peel it all off, it snakes and coils. So if you just peel the top half, line it up with where you're going and then peel the bottom half off happy days little it's not even a little trick it's how it's supposed to be applied so if you don't or a little tip if you didn't already know take the top half off and then take the bottom half off line it up so it doesn't coil like that you know when you take it all off so right just gonna um I've got done all my dead testing. Just going to uh, liven up and do my RCD testing. If you've not got one of these, get one. You can get them on Amazon. Um, I think I bought a pack of six for like 20 quid. And you can use them to hold anything. They hold quite a lot of weight. They've held one of my Vito bags as well, to be honest. But it makes it really handy for when you're testing the consumer unit. You know? Couple of magnets on your. I've lost that one for some reason. I don't know where I put that. I think it's on my label bag. Um, the magnets on the tester. And then it gives you two hands to do your thing. So I'm going to turn it all on now and uh, RCD test all these types of beers. But yeah, get yourself one of these magnets. I've got an Amazon store. You can follow the link. Um, but if not, just go to Amazon. Uh, get them with a carabiner clip on. I've been thinking about because I didn't realise that I get Amazon Music. Is it, uh, how does it compare to Spotify? Oh, it's a bit of a mission, but <laughs> they know. Have it reassembled. Whew. 